with your host, Prince Vegeta, and my beautiful genius wife, Bulma, and we are here to talk foodie to you. And go over the Yelp reviews. So this week, we're going to be talking about brevet, and let me go, let's, let's just... I believe it's brev and crepes. Brev and crepes. Whatever you say, dear. So, let's start off with a Yelp review. So, this brightly lit coffee, tea, and crepe serving place is very delightful. Oh my. So I'd say we go check it out. Uh, let's read, let's read one more. This is a destination spot for family and I because it has beautiful chalk on there. Fantastic! Holy we can take Denali. trunks! Let's go check it out! So what were your thoughts, Sonny? It was fantastic! So, I got the Brev and Crepe. It was a, uh, sweet cream cheese filling with raspberries, which I must say were almost delectable as you, my dear. <laughs> it was delicious. I would say the flavor was over 9,000. I agree with you, dear, but, uh... Uh, you know, I had the one with Nutella, with some blueberries and some uh, bananas in there. And of course, some of that little whipped cream on top. Yes, the whipped cream is the perfect topping. You must get the whipped cream. That is certainly a definite buy for me. For sure, you must go check it out. Take the little ones, like little Trunks and little Goten, and I would say even little Gohan. He's, he's a shrimp, so... Especially since he stopped training, if you know what I mean, right? Right. <laughs> uh, so, go check out Brevin Crepes. Delicious, because the deliciousness is over 9,000 off of Osuna, Osuna and San Mateo. And there, I think there's one on gold? Yes, too. downtown. Yes, downtown so. If you want to fight the people over the parking. All right, so for our full actual review, uh, we're actually gonna go deep into it now. So uh, we did go to Brevin Crepes. There's actually two locations. There's one downtown off of Gold, and if you're Second, anything, we'll if you're anything it. like me, don't don't correct me. Um, <laughs> but you're right. Uh, anyways, so it's it's downtown. If you're like me, you don't like going downtown because the parking is hell. Uh, really, it's especially during the week. I tried to go during the week, and you can't. So if you're gonna go, though, go go on the weekends, because that's when they have free parking, right? I, I think, think so. in that area. So, but this one, now they have another location. It's a located near Osuna and San Mateo. It's just like a couple blocks up. It's, it's nice, quaint place, you would say, right? Very quiet. Mm -hmm. um, it seems a little bit secluded, but actually, it was actually, once we got there, there was nobody there. Mm -hmm. And then... And then they found out that we were there, and... and then, <laughs> The, the, flood, the masses started, came yeah, in. It's like <laughs> three people came in. So it has a very hipster vibe, right? It does, yes. It does have a hipster vibe. And uh, the last time I went, when I went with my actual wife, not you, Bulma, <laughs> who is not actually um, a woman. Right. Enough about that. We're here to talk about the crepes from Brevin Crepes. They kind of come in like, like a cardboard, cardboard cone ice cream cone. Type and that's thing. how they're shaped. They're shaped like an ice cream cone. And so the way that it's set up is there's like three different tiers, right? You have, well, there's three different options at the top. And it's cool because when I first went, it was paper and you just like circled or whatever. But now weeks later, it is now oh, like a laminated. It's laminated and you just stock. highlight what you want. Yeah. Highlight what you want and then. So now it's more green yeah. that also goes with the hipster vibe, yes, you know, which I like so. though. I like it, you know, recycle, save, reuse, all that business. We got to save the earth we live on, right? You have your option, it's like your filling, your ingredients, like if you want to topping add, your water. topping, yes, yeah. your topping, and then and then there's something else, like you have to absolutely get the whipped cream, because then it does not give it that like actual full ice cream, then it just seems like an empty shell almost, you know what I mean? Like it yeah. has, because what they do is they line all the fruit, you know, they 
put the the frosting or whatever so you get in it. So you're filling or whatever yeah. in it. Then they they like roll it, but and then they put the fruit put or whatever the fruit, you get, whatever you want, and, and then, then roll, roll it. it up, and then they put the the whipped cream. They put it in the thing, and then yeah, put the whipped and then cream. the whipped cream. You got. I got the Nutella with uh, blueberries, banana, and. Oh. Nuts? Oh yeah, almonds. Almonds. Yes. So that was extra, right? You had to pay extra because so you got the, extra. That was the free, free tier. Because the things, because yeah. it actually you only get like one, like uh, one like the basic. The one base is the, is yeah. the one. Yeah. And then you have the one in uh, add, you know, like yeah. your topping. Your two. And then you have your the actual topping, which is yes. like the the whipped cream. Three. You can get other stuff. You can get something else. And you're but, charged by topping. It's not that you're filling or whatever unless it's a special feeling yeah then that's the extra part but if your feelings kind of like included in the grip right uh, so I got um, this time I got the uh, it was sweet cream cheese frosting or whatever sweet cream cheese uh, as my filling and then I got raspberries and I was like oh raspberries is gonna be all like bulbousy and weird but it was not and then like I said that whipped cream it just makes it the perfect and it was so delicious it, it really was divine. It tasted so good. We also got... Italian cream sodas. Italian cream sodas. Now, before I move on to that, I do want to finish like talking about the actual things. Like, yes. how, would, how would you grade it, I guess? I, I don't know if we have a grade scale just yet for Talk Foodie to Me, but... Um, I mean, for Talk Nerdy to Me, it's always like... Buy, buy right. try, and then pass. Okay. I think that's what try. we have. Yeah, try. Let, yeah. Let's do that. Um, and so, then there's strong weak variations if you want to throw that in there. Yeah, that's your thing. But. Yeah, <laughs> you think it's too but, much. You think it's excessive, but whatever. Um, but uh, j my thoughts on it. First off, I just want to mention the blueberries in there must have been organic because they. I, w I was eating them and I was like, my gosh, these are the best blueberries I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and uh, they they were great. And uh, um, everything about it was. I was like, okay. I know this is a little bit excessive getting all this stuff together, but it tasted really good together, and it was warm. It came out fast. Um, it was great. You know, I would definitely give it a buy. You know, I, I definitely want you to go try this out. This is a great place for crepes. So Zagats was right. <laughs> Zag Zagats Yelp. or Yelp? Yelp, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it was delicious. I've gone before with my wife, uh, actual wife, as I have uh, stated. Um, and, and that was fantastic last time too. What I got like was strawberry jam with strawberries, which was too much strawberry. My fault, not their fault. I should have gotten something, my topping other than strawberry. But the strawberry jam was, was delicious. You know, I should have just gotten like raspberries or blueberries or something else, so you know? You went, you went, this time you went for a fr stuffed French toast type. Thing. Yes, I was going for a stuffed French toast style type thing. And it was delicious. Like I said, it was fantastic. Uh, I absolutely, uh, you know, I give it high marks, uh, so I, it's absolutely in the buy category for me as well. Uh, but the Italian soda left much to be desired. It really just tasted like watered down cream. I, I'll, I'll agree with that. Like, it's like they put club soda mm. with cream and then the thing. You know, and normally that's probably about what, what Italian cream soda is. Yeah. But this didn't have that normal Italian, like if you go to other places that have Italian cream sodas, this it's place, sweet. It's, yeah. it's sweet, it's good, it, this one was sour to mm. me, I had the passion fruit, and normally passion fruit, you know, that's like an acquired taste, I, I love passion fruit, but I shouldn't have got it here, because it was it, sour, and I, I don't know. I don't even remember what I got, just because the lack of flavoring was just... Week, I want to say that you I got, got raspberry. You got strawberry. Strawberry, okay. Yeah. And I just didn't even really taste it in there, so that was weak. So don't get that. I have had the tea. Tea's good, and I've heard the coffee is great because my wife got. I think she got coffee or something, but I've heard the, the the coffee's great and the tea is really good. But I think just going there for just even the crepes, the crepes yeah. alone is is worth just going, even if even if you're not finding the best type of drinks, but I hear the coffee's really good there mm. too, so. And then they also had a lunch food too, was it? The, yeah, there was uh, a panini. Panini, so, yeah. yeah, they had panini. So we haven't tried that, but you know, whatever you could. So yeah, it's like a dessert, but it's not a dessert at the same time, and kind of a breakfast, breakfast thing. Breakfast, but and, not. And kind of De like a dessert, dessert like thing what too, said. so. I, I hate whipped cream on stuff, but I took him at his word, and this whipped cream was amazing. Definitely get that. 
So, definitely go check it out. Brev and crepes, or brevet. Yum. Whatever you want to say. Yeah, Brev and crepes.